just as the comparison of means among two groups can be extended to a comparison of means across many groups, the non-parametric approach to compare mean ranks between two groups can also be extended to multiple groups. And the test that does this is called the Kruskal-Wallis test. It's a non-parametric counterpart to the one-way analysis of variance. Let's see how it works. The Kruskal-Wallis test compares the mean ranks for several groups within a total sample to help decide whether these groups might be coming from different populations. The first step in this test is ranking the entire sample. When ties occur between two or more values, these values are given the mean of the ranks for which it is tied. Next, the mean rank R is calculated and subsequently the mean rank for each group, Ri. Then the difference between each Ri and R is squared and multiplied with the sample size of each group, Ni. All of these sample weighted square differences are summed and multiplied with a constant where n is the total sample size. The value that is calculated through this formula is called the kruskal wallis test statistic. It follows a chi-square distribution. If you would have g groups, the test statistic has an approximate chi-square distribution with g minus 1 degrees of freedom. A large value for the test statistic indicates that there is a large variability among the sample mean ranks compared to what's expected under the null hypothesis that the groups have identical population distributions. The p-value gives the probability that the value larger or equal is found if the null hypothesis were true. Similar to the one-way ANOVA, the kruskal wallis test does not show which groups differ among each other. A large value for the test statistic could arise because a single group stands out while the others are relatively similar, but equally well because all groups differ somewhat amongst each other. Let's apply the kruskal wallis method to an example. The local confectioner has gotten so popular that enthusiastic customers start a fan site and give likes to especially delicious cakes. Now, this gives the confectioner a new tool to see which products are especially appreciated and which aren't. She starts by checking whether there is a systematic difference between the likes for different types of cake in the first place. She has three broad groups, fruitcakes, cheesecakes and sponge cakes. The question is whether the overall appreciation for these three groups is similar. These are the scores for the three groups. The ranks for these scores are given here. As you see, there are two ties, here and there. Next, the mean ranks per group and the overall mean rank is calculated. These values are entered in the equation to calculate the kruskal wallis statistic, together with the size of each group and the overall group size of 21. This gives a value of 9.87 for the test statistic. Using a chi-square distribution with two degrees of freedom, this value corresponds to a p-value of 0.007. So the conclusion is that the different types of cakes are appreciated very differently. So far our example. Let's now take a look at when you would use a Kruskal-Wallis test instead of a one-way ANOVA. The ANOVA F-test assumes normal population distributions for each group and is not accurate if one or more groups have a skewed distribution or a variance that deviates a lot from the others. The kruskal wallis test does not rely on these assumptions, so it can be used when these assumptions are violated or when the sample sizes are so small that not much information is available to check the assumptions at all. Apart from that, it's of course also useful when the data are ordinal. The kruskal wallis test is only slightly less powerful than the one-way ANOVA. Let me summarize what I explained in this video. The kruskal wallis test evaluates the null hypothesis that various samples come from the same population distribution. It's a good alternative to an analysis of variance when sample sizes are small or you can't assume distributions that are close to normal for the different groups. The test assumes 
independent and identically distributed data with at least an ordinal measurement level. It first determines the ranks for the combined samples and then finds the sample mean rank for each group. The test statistic is based on the variability between the mean group ranks and the formula to calculate the test statistic is given here. It follows a chi-square distribution with the number of groups minus one degrees of freedom. The null hypothesis that the different groups have the same underlying population distribution is rejected when the test statistic is larger than the critical value according to this chi-square distribution.